How do you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today we're going to look at a dart that is even smaller than the world's smallest dart. Now a while ago I did a video that was on the world's smallest dart which at the time it was however we now have a one that is even smaller this is a tiny little number made in brass and it's made by bulls darts you'll see here a traditional size barrel Alongside that, what was the world's smallest dart at the time, which was the full setup, which made it about the same size as a barrel. However, dun -dun 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 -dun, we've gone even smaller. Bulls and uh, brought these darts out, and I saw these while I was out on my trip in Europe. For just a couple of euros, I had to get them to have a go. You'll see here how the whole setup with the flight, the stem, and the point is about the size of a point and a little bit of what was the world's smallest dart. So these things tiny and by being tiny means they're not going to weigh much the complete setup of all three darts including the stem the flight everything included four grams for all three weighed at the same time which means they weigh about 1.35 grams each and that's total so i had to get them i had to have a go with them and my first job was to see how long it took me to hit a treble 20. So it's over to the board I went and have a little throw. Now these was quite tricky to throw and get to grips with because of how small they are. You can see literally how they sit in the hand and how the hand covers from even the middle part of the flight all the way down to the point. But I'm actually quite happy when I'm watching this back. At the time it felt like you're quite far away because it really doesn't take up any space in the board. Imagine if you was actually could be quite good with these. How much you could actually become very good with them because you're literally not blocking up any target. Granted, these are not legal darts. You won't be able to play with these in a competition as such. And a bounce out there. But yes, on the fourth visit, a treble 20. So that is target number one, done and out the way. Took four visits. And I was quite happy and impressed with that. I'm not surprised if it took a lot, lot longer than that. I kind of expected to have to have filled that and sped it up in order to get where we was for that footage. But target number two was I wanted to hit a bullseye. So after the bullseye, we went and... This is something I thought would take a lot of time. I I'm going to spoil it for you. It doesn't take me too long to hit the bullseye. But that is an attempt at the bullseye there. You see the dart going in the treble 17. They're quite tricky to get out of the hand. If you don't throw them sort of perfect. They just sort of spiral. You saw like on the last shot there was a bounce out. I think there's one on this as well. And you look at it how it covers the entire dart on the points. So it's very easy just to push down on the dart. Really happy with the amount of 25s I'm getting here as well. Which is really good and you can see again what i was saying that if you could actually throw these sort of darts you'd be quite good with them because well there's that bounce out again and then that again a dart the ball and then boom he hits it finds the bullseye good fun to throw these really enjoyed having a little bit of a play with them i had to play with these off camera as well i didn't play much better than this i'm not going to say i went and hit a 140 or 180 i am reliably informed though that in the shop kim hybrix actually hit a 140 with these so i would like to eventually hit more than a 140 maybe go and hit a 180 with them as well um but the good fun good little bit of fun nice little bit of a, a novelty might even take these to some exhibitions and things that are coming up in the near future. But if you have enjoyed this video, guys, please do hit a like. I safely say now that these are the world's smallest darts and I can't see anybody going smaller. The challenge is over to you now, manufacturers. Can you find a smaller dart than that? If you do enjoy these videos as well, hit the subscribe. I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.